Hi, my name is Harry Winter and I'm here today to discuss the local history in and around Basingstoke. Focus on the Willis Museum that exhibits, promotes, protects and interacts with a young audience. So let's go check them out. But first, let's hear the local students' opinions on history. I think it's really boring. It's alright. Yes. Not really. The Willis Museum, named after George Willis, who established the collection in 1931, provides a preserved insight into the history of Basingstoke. Exhibiting heavily on the development of the town in the 1960s, they also explore life in the 19th and 20th century. The museum is free to enter and caters for schools and for public. They proudly exhibit a wedding cake from the 19th century, embroidery work from circa 1600 and tales of local murders and myths, and the odd mammoth tusk with the added Sainsbury Gallery, which exhibits a collection of high-profile artefacts that change regularly, the Wiz Museum is always busy. So let's chat with the curator Jenny Stevenson about the museum. Well, we see ourselves very much as the central spot, really, and the, and the sort of the core place for history and heritage in Basingstoke. And because we're free, we're there for anyone to come in during opening hours, um, have a look around, visit the galleries, visit the... Um, permanent exhibitions. So, why do you think young people are not as interested in history as other subjects? It's, I think sometimes it's peer pressure that it's perceived as boring and there's always don't want to be seen by your friends to be interested in it. But I think a lot of young people do actually like it and I think often they're interested in it from other ways and without realising it and they find themselves sucked in. Let's ask some students whether they know any facts about the history of Basingstoke. Um, isn't that that? Oh, didn't a woman get buried twice? It originated as a, as a Saxon village, but by the time it was written in the Doomsday Book, it had a population of 200 people. Uh, no, I don't really know many facts. Even I'm a Hampshire girl, I've learned a heck of a lot about Basingstoke. Basingstoke is a town where the Celts lived, and that's where the Celts were from. Mm. So, why is preserving history so important? There is uh, a, a, a grain of truth in, in the old saying about uh, if people uh, don't understand their past then uh, they'll make the same mistakes again in the future. Uh, the future uh, is, is built on, on what's happened in the past. I'm totally biased as uh, someone with archaeology and history qualifications and this is my role but I think like people always say, it's very important that you know your history because then you otherwise you keep making the same mistakes again and again. Um, history is littered with um, huge mistakes that people have made because they didn't read their history books and if they just read them, then maybe things would have turned out very differently. So, where would you now go if you wanted to find out some local history? That one in town? Mm -hmm. uh, is it Willis? Yeah, the Willis Museum and the Milestones Museum. Willis Museum, all those pictures in Morrison's Museum, on the wall. <laughs> so, in conclusion, knowing your local history will help you understand your own history. And with the help of the Willis Museum, the next generation should be interested and help preserve the local history. Thanks for watching.